estimating a single or parallel mediation model with process. Let us hypothesize that the effect of age on newspaper reading time is mediated both by interest in politics and news site use. So we have two parallel mediators in our model. We can estimate this model with process. If process was correctly installed, you will find the process command under Analyze Regression. First of all, we must select the correct model number. There are quite a lot of models that can be estimated, but for a single or parallel mediation model, we need model number 4. Indirect effects are estimated with bootstrapping, so we need to set the number of bootstrap samples. 5000 is fine. And the 95% confidence interval is OK. Now we can enter the variables. Our outcome variable is reading time. H is our predictor or independent variable. And we can have our mediators, interest in politics and news site use under the M variables. The order of the mediators is not relevant in a parallel mediation model. Let's have a look at the options. Select the option Show Total Effect Model and the option Standardized Effects if we need standardized effect sizes. And finally, three decimal places will usually be sufficient. Finally, we have the Long Variable Names option. Process only uses the first eight characters of variable names. So the variables that we are using must be unique in their first eight characters. This is the case with reading time, age, political interest, and news site use. But we must inform process that some of our variable names contain more than eight characters, otherwise it will not run. So let's check the allow long variable names option and continue. And that's all we have to do. Don't use the paste command, because it will produce a lot of lines in the syntax that are difficult to make sense of. So, as an exception to the rule, run this command directly from the menu. OK, let's run it. We will have to wait a little bit. Ah, but here are the results. We only get text output, which first tells us the number of the model that we've estimated, the variables that we've used, reading time as the outcome, etc., etc., and our sample size. Next, we get the separate regression models for the entire path model. Starting from left to right, it first regresses interest in politics on age, the unstandardized coefficient reported here, 0.10, could be added to the path diagram. We see that this coefficient is statistically significant, different from zero with a p-value of 0.04. The 95% confidence interval is between 0.004 and 0.20, so the effect is most likely to be positive, but it can be very small. Now we get the second regression model, predicting new site use from age. Again, we have a regression coefficient that we can add to our path model. It is negative and it is statistically significant, so it's most likely to be less than zero in the population. The confidence interval tells us that it will be between 0.88 and 0.97 negative. The final regression model predicts reading time from political interest, new site use and age. So all predictors are included now. Here we can see positive effects for age and interest in politics and a negative effect for new site use. Again, we can add those numbers to the path model. Now we get to the most important part of the output. First, we see the total effect of age, our x, on reading time, our y, which is around 6. The total effect of age consists of a direct effect, which is 4.55, and a total indirect effect via political interest and news site use, which is 1.47 here. Note that the sum of these two numbers, 4.55 plus 
yields 6.02, which is the total effect. Also note that the direct effect is much larger than the total indirect effect. The effect of age on reading time is a direct effect rather than an indirect effect. According to the confidence intervals, the total direct and total indirect effect are probably positive in the population. The total indirect effect can be split further in an indirect effect via political interest and one via new site use. Again, we are confident that these effects are positive in the population. And we see that nearly all of the total indirect effect is due to new site use as a mediator. 1.42, whereas the indirect effect via interest in politics is only 0.05. Below these results, we find the standardized indirect effects with their confidence intervals. Again, we see that the indirect effect of age on reading time is much stronger via new site use than via political interest. If the predictor would have been a dichotomy, for example, Participant sex, process, version 4 and higher, would print partially standardized indirect effects instead of completely standardized indirect effects. We recommend, however, not to use standardized effects in case of a dichotomous independent variable. Instead, interpret the unstandardized indirect effects. These results tell us about the indirect effects and mediation. We cannot check the assumptions of a regression model with process. If we want to do that, we have to estimate the regression models again in SPSS and check the graphs of the residuals. Finally, because we did not paste the command to our syntax, we should add a comment to the syntax reminding us of the model that we've estimated. For example, that we use process model 4 with reading time as the outcome variable, age as predictor, and political interest and new site use as mediators. This will remind us later of the model that we've estimated. This concludes this video on single and parallel mediation with process.